Okay. Always talking to white old lips of yours. Jesus. That was my. Shut it. That was my. Stop it. That's Don't want to hear. This side of my cheek. Stop the already... talking. Stop the laughing. Lap, 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 lap. If you're gonna hit me, do it on the other side. This one's already sore. Shut your mouth. That's better. God Thank you. Damn. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. I said the other cheek. This one hurts. Shut your fucking mouth. I ain't checked your lips. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like I said, I saw some squirrels. I could probably get a squirrel to fight like a, like a pigeon. Like Shut a, up. God damn it. Told you, if I want to see squirrels fight, I'd go to Compton. My uncle got a squirrel fighting ring down there. It's like cockfighting in Mexico. It's huge in Compton. The Compton squirrels. Everybody know about the goddamn Compton squirrels. They sell t-shirts and all kind of shit. Okay? In 1985, a group of homeless people came here, and this is where they used to fuck at, right in here. That's as you can see right here, the entrance. It's double X, not triple X. Double X is for when homeless people fuck. That's when it's serious, no condoms. Because they leave their underwear on. Because they leave their underwear on. They cut out a hole, so they pull their penis out, and the woman cuts a hole in the bottom. I tried that one time with a stuffed animal of mine. I took a stuffed animal, cut a hole in the middle of it, took all the stuffing out, put some warm chicken livers in it, then I fucked it. That was a good Sunday. Let's keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> that old Kings in Town shit. That old Curry shit. That old jerk chicken bullshit. That old jerk chicken bullshit. <laughs> I'm bringing some bitches up here and fucking that. <laughs> Do it. Hey, hold on. <laughs> hold on, stop hating this laugh. I'm gonna bring some bitches up here and fuck them in the cage. My baby mama would never find me sleeping in this cage. <laughs> I live in a zoo, mom, look at me. I live in a zoo. <laughs> Let's see what the fuck we got going on right here. Hey, y'all, it's a smoker. This is where we would cook them goddamn tall pink chickens, you know what I mean? God, Flamingo. Shut the fuck up. Growing up, there was nothing more delicious than going to my uncle's house in North Carolina and having those homemade barbecue bear sandwiches. My uncle used to barbecue bears. I used to go visit that nigga in the summer and he'd take the bear meat, slather it with all kind of brown sugars and seasonings and then they'd throw it on the grill and we used to cut that goddamn bear meat up and put it on white bread with barbecue sauce and coleslaw. Now you wanna talk about good eating? Nigga, that's good eating. A good old bear sandwich, chips and a nice cold soda. The only bear sandwich I would ever eat is a Klondike bar because it has a little polar bear on it. I wrote that joke earlier. <laughs> Boy, I remember walking barefoot down that creek, going to my old fishing hole, the old Sweet Creek Pond. Had my night crawlers in one hand, my old sturdy fishing pole in the other. And I just throw my line in there and just wait with my feet swinging off. But sometimes the fish would think my black ass toes were old chicken nuggets and then they'd bite my toes. So I would catch fish with my pole and with my toes. <laughs> Then our uncle will come down that path with a good old barbecue bear sandwich. And I tell you me, I'd be hungry in a raccoon and a fucking possum fight. I'd be so hungry, I'd be meaner than a raccoon and a possum fight. I'd snatch that old bear sandwich out my grandpappy's hand and I'd say, mmm, -hmm, me, there's some good old here bear sandwich. Then I'd reach into his pocket and pull out some coleslaw. And I'd be like, oh, grandpappy, you got the best old coleslaw. Then I'd unzip his pants where his old meat whistle was, and I'd pull up the chips. He always kept the potato chips in his underwear. <laughs> Damn, I miss North Carolina. Except for all the crosses used to burn our front yard. I've never been to North Carolina. It sounds very racist. <laughs> yeah, I had a problem sleeping at night. Them bright ass fucking flames burn outside my window from that cross. But I learned to deal with that. I also learned to deal with getting called nigga everywhere I went. The flames from the cross would wake me up. And they would yell, Any niggas in this house? And my uncle would be like, Ain't no niggas in this house, nigga. <laughs> <laughs>